Inert gas discharge lighting, more commonly known as neon lighting, is everywhere in the world today, from small neon indicator lights to large-scale neon advertisements. They can be found in every city in the United States, but they may be most famous here in Las Vegas, Nevada, where neon displays create stunning light advertisements at night. Here, neon lights are used in combinations of nearly every color and size to create effects that would be nearly impossible without this spectacular technology. And yet, as complex as some of these displays may be, the actual science behind neon lighting is not terribly complicated. Each individual light consists of five major parts: the electrical input, the positive electrode, the negative electrode, the discharge tube, and the gas. Each individual part plays a critical role in determining the color intensity and efficiency of the light. The process begins with the gas simply floating in the discharge tube. As electricity begins to flow from the power source into the tube, it bombards the gas with electrons. As the electrons pass by an atom of gas, some of them are captured by the atom's nucleus, which turns the atom into a negative ion. These electrons are at a higher energy level than the rest of the electrons. As their energy level is reduced to fit the lower energy levels, they release a difference in energy in the form of photons of light. Then the extra electrons are pulled away by the positive electrode, leaving the atom with a neutral charge. In addition, some of the gas will temporarily turn to plasma during the process, giving the lights the unique color and glow. These light photons are refracted by the discharge tube, and the neon light is complete. Various types of gases and differently colored discharge tubes enable these lights to take on nearly any color. Gases like neon give an orange or red color. Argon with mercury gives off a blue tint. Krypton gives off pure white light, while xenon gives off a purple glow. Combinations of these gases make for a whole array of colors to be used in displays. Neon lights are not just used in flashy signs; they are all around us every day. This technological concept is most widely used in fluorescent lights, where clear discharge tubes are used to give off white light, which is then refracted through a second piece of glass. Fluorescent lights have become smaller and smaller, and compact fluorescent light bulbs are now being used in households worldwide. Neon lights are one of the most fascinating pieces of technology today.